CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News this morning at 4.30. They should be much higher uh, in terms of uh, vaccination coverage than what they are. Well, despite hospitals dealing with the surge in COVID patients, they are still struggling to get their own employees vaccinated. I'm kind of excited, yeah. I haven't seen anyone in like a year. All right, thousands of SoCal students head back to the classroom this morning as the San Bernardino school system reopens. I'd really like to see a groundswell of, of patriotism come back. Had a big challenge for a big cause to tell you about this morning. Local firefighters hit the road riding their bikes across the country for the next 40 days. Can't wait to share that one with you. But first, very good morning to you. It is a Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. August 2nd. Welcome to CBS Studios this morning at 430 and streaming on CBS in Los Angeles. I'm DeMarco Morgan. And as you can see, Suzanne is off, but we are <laughs> lucky to have Amber Lee with us here uh, following the forecast with you. What you got for us? All right. What a great weekend, DeMarco, mm -hmm. right here in Southern California. We had temperatures warming up and then the heat will continue because we're dealing with a little bit more of that monsoon moisture moving in. This is a look at our downtown LA camera. We have a little bit of the patchy clouds, but that high pressure system is really dominating. So we're waking up to mild conditions and you can see just a few high clouds here and there. But overall, once we head into the afternoon, it's going to be a hot one. We're talking triple digits for the valleys, the Inland Empire, the high deserts, 86 for LA and Orange County Metro, 74 for the coast and then up in the mountains. We have about 82 degrees. There is a very slight chance because of that monsoon moisture that we could see isolated thunderstorms and showers over the higher elevations. But any way you look at it, it's just going to get hotter as we head into the next couple of days. I will break it all down for you coming up. Back to all right, we'll see. Yeah, all right, we'll see you then. Thank you, friend. Infections are surging across Southern California, fueled by the highly contagious Delta variant. Yesterday, LA County reported more than 3,000 new cases, five deaths, and nearly 1,100 patients are in the hospital, most of them unvaccinated. CBS 2's Rick Montanez reports on the effort to get more health care workers vaccinated. As more COVID patients come into hospitals across Southern California, the concern is focused on the unvaccinated population, especially young adults. Now, federal data shows the rate of vaccination for people working in those hospitals varies quite a bit. They should be much higher uh, in terms of uh, vaccination coverage than what they are, given where we are at this point in the pandemic, the availability of vaccines. Dr. Richard Carpiano is a professor of public policy at UC Riverside. He says non-clinical jobs, from administrative staff to cafeteria workers and janitors, people in those positions may not be as up to speed on the pandemic or the vaccine as nurses and doctors are. At hospitals like County USC Medical Center in Boyle Heights and County Olive View UCLA Medical Center in Silmar, only about half the staff is vaccinated. Federal data also shows a vast minority of staff, about 2%, remain unvaccinated at Orange County Global Medical Center in Santa Ana, Memorial Care Saddleback in Laguna Hills, and USC Verdugo Hills Hospital in Glendale. The numbers show higher hospital vaccination rates tend to be found in more affluent communities. Which is a general trend that we, we often see uh, with vaccination, but it's, it's particularly been one that we see with COVID. As the Delta variant spreads, the goal nationwide is targeting and educating the unvaccinated. We've really got to get those people to change their minds, make it easy for them, convince them, do something to get them to be vaccinated because they are the ones that are propagating this outbreak. Dr. Courtney Gadangle, a physician researcher for the RAND Corporation, says what may help most is understanding why someone is hesitant. I think too often we make assumptions about why people aren't vaccinating and certainly there can be an us versus them sort of dynamic that doesn't necessarily need to be there and isn't always helpful. Understanding the science and helping people to trust it. Hospital workers across the state will soon have to give proof of vaccination or agree to weekly COVID tests as announced by the governor last week. Hospitals and medical offices have until August 23rd.